Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about document summarization with LLMs and different techniques to do that. Well, we often talk about RAG, which is Retrieval Augmented Generation, and we have question answers which we want to do with our documents. But also there is another use case where we need to create summaries of the document. We don't exactly need to put in a question and get an answer. We need a summary. It can be of a document, it can be of a paragraph or a blog from a blog post or something like that. But there is a textual content which is big enough and we don't want to go through the whole of it. We can create document summarization approach to get the summary of that and it will be a small thing to read. So before we go deeper into it uh, the usual request if you like the content of my channel please subscribe to the channel and like the video that will help me and keep me motivated going ahead there are there are few techniques to do it as i was mentioning one is stuff then there is map reduce within map reduce there are again three types one is vanilla so i call it but i will explain why do i say it then there is overlapping and then there is rolling over here we will start with uh, the vanilla well the staff the staff method is nothing but we provide the whole text at a time to the llm and get a summary of it that's it but the context window of the LLMs, as we all know, is limited. Uh, although it is increasing every day, now it is uh, one billion, one million, and all. So, but when we are working with you know limited context window, we need to follow the map reduce approach. So, when we are talking about vanilla, we first need to create chunks of the document, and uh, it can be not only a document but also some just uh, text so we create chunks of it then create summaries of each of this chunk and then create a final summary of those summaries the second approach is overlapping where we create the chunks as usual and then we take two chunks at a time and create a summary this way there is a overlapping uh, when we are creating the summaries overlapping lapping of chunks so you can see the first and second chunk is we have used to create the first summary the well this second chunk is an overlapping chunk for the second and third similarly third will become the overlapping chunk for the consecutive chunks so this way our summary generated has more context and that is how a better summary can be achieved so after that we create a summary of the summaries and we gener we get the final summary the third one is rolling summary where we take the first two chunks or and create a summary or we take the first chunk create a summary add the second chunk to that and create generate another summary then we keep repeating the process where we have the summaries take the next chunk add to it and create the uh, following summary so this is a rolling approach as we call it so now let's go into the coding and understand and as always my code is available on github for you to download and try out things in this case i have used open ai because i could not get the required result with um, the the open source um, large language models but if you all can please let me know and share your thoughts on the comment and you can also create branches of my code with the open source um, LLMs and put it across so coming to the code it is quite a simple one we 
uh, import some libraries over here I have a initialized template so this is my temp template where I am saying you are a text summarizer summarize the text provided do not repeat the response then text and the content the usual prompt then we have the chat GPT initialization where I have used reload to um, load my environment variables which are in this case I am using Azure chat GPT so I had to upload the keys and all so I have done it in this module and then the document loader where I am selecting the document uh, which I am passing the document and then chunking it using the character text splitter and uh, the docs is what I am returning over here so this is basically the chunk doc document so over here this is my document let me quickly take you to the document that I have over here it is uh, what is the why is data governance important is um, this is a blog post that I have copied into a PDF and uh, I'm just trying to create it. This is a four page document which I'm trying to create. Uh, I'm chunking and creating a summary. So over here, um, you will see that this is my prompt initialization. So my prompt looks like this. You're a text summarizer, summarize the text provided. Do not repeat the response text. And this is my content. So this is what I'm passing now for now. And I get it back like this. So then I'm initializing the LLM, the chain, and finally in a TQDM format I am passing the docs so when I do that I am creating the summary so initially the summary is null I am adding the chunk which is my first chunk I am calling the LLM getting back the text and um, the loop goes on so over here you can see 9 out of 9 so that means I have about 10 chunks from those four pages being created so over here I am every time I'm using the summary adding the next chunk and creating so this is my actually rolling method that I have followed so finally I get uh, the summary which is generated after going through all the nine ten doc uh, chunks that it has created out of the document that's quite simple um, hope this video helps you and gives you an idea how to approach you know, the document summarization you can have a um, lot of documents you can do it um, by random ch chunking as i have done over here where i have just used a uh, chunk size of thousand but you can do it page wise also there are so other so many other ways to do it um, if you have any comment let me know in the com uh, comment section uh, if you have any questions i will try to answer them that's all for today thank you see you